when I first draw a thumbnail, it's basically a, we've used the term storyboard here a couple of times in this episode, but for me, it really is a, a storyboard. Like if there's, uh, you know, all these people receiving this letter, like the, like the mm-hmm. image I'm doing right now, it, the first pass is literally like just people standing around holding a letter. There's no intent that that's going to be a real one, uh, a real image, but I just get just the facts. Like here's the place and here's all the players that are involved in this shot. And if there's a car there, the car will be there. But the storyboard is not an actual thumbnail that I'm trying to use for the book. It's never intended to be a design. It's just a starting point. And then from that point, I sort of start to adjust the camera and move the characters around in subsequent thumbnails. Do you guys sort of do that too? Like kind of a, here's all the stuff that's going to be in this shot and then you start designing or do you do from your first thumbnail, do you try to say, okay, here's maybe a shot that this is going to be. Uh, Can can I take this? Well, I, I, uh, again, it depends on what, what the usage of that image is, is for. So if it's a, if it's a environment that I'm going to return to several times in a story, uh, then I will, concept it out and and kind of do a you know a, a, an orthographic view of it or a three quarter top down view of it so I know okay we've got table over here we've got refrigerator over here we've got bookshelf over here um, but if I'm only going to be there once and never return to it then I just design for the camera angle that I that I want and and the you don't need camera to angle explore that, all that other stuff yeah yeah and the, and the the camera angle i'm picking is based on uh the needs of the storytelling moment mm-hmm. so if it's right. you know the pov of the child then it's going to be a lower mm-hmm. angle if it's the pov of the adult it's going to be an upper you know down looking down angle those types of things you're doing it sounds like you're doing a lot of editing in your mind before mm-hmm. you waste time exploring every single one because you've you've done all these you've seen all these problems before you've solved yeah. them and you know that there's there's uh, some angles that are inappropriate for what you're trying to tell yeah and i remember when i was first teaching myself to draw comics i was like how am i ever going to figure out what image goes in what panel and what camera angle and and I was getting so frustrated. And what I ended up doing was I would close my eyes and envision it as a, a film. So I'm watching a movie hmm. and and I've grown up watching movies. My Your brain, I think, kind of uh, understands editing, movie editing a little bit, like camera angles and things like that. And so I would think, well, for this particular action, I wouldn't want to be close up because I couldn't see what his hands are doing. And it's important to see what his hands are doing. So I'm envisioning a mid shot. And once I have the storyboard in my head, then it's just thinking, okay, how can I fit those storyboards on a pan, you know, on a page mm-hmm. in an interesting way? You know? That's good. 